Remember? I that don't. guy from that show with I the don't. movies and the reviews? You've no. seen him before. You know his videos. What's going on, guys? Welcome to that show with that guy. I am that guy, Ryan McCurley, and I'm here to give you my quick little review on the film 5050. Now, 5050 stars Joseph Gordon Levitt and Seth Rogen, and Joseph Gordon Levitt's character gets diagnosed with this rare type of cancer where ultimately he has a 50 50 shot at survival. Hence the title, 50-50. Now on a little side note, this film is actually based on one of Seth Rogen's friends who had this rare disease, so fun fact if you didn't know that. Now this movie is amazing. I absolutely love this movie, and one of the things that I love most about it is that Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen, their characters in the film, play off from one another so well. They have such a believable friendship, and the chemistry between the two actors in the film are just simply amazing. Um, very believable friendship, like I just said, and I'm repeating myself, but anyways, not only is the film really funny, but it also has a lot of heart and realism to it, and that's what I look forward to most when I watch movies. Now, there's some movies that you watch, kind of like popcorn films, I guess some people call them, where you just kind of sit down with some friends and watch them to kind of have a good time. Movies like 50-50 are really my type of movies, where you can actually get into the characters and get into the film and the stuff that's going on with them, and it really makes you care about what's happening with everybody involved. And 50-50 does that perfectly. Joseph Gordon-Levitt really went all out in this film, he actually shaved his head, he was perfect role for this. Another fun fact, he was the last person to be chosen last minute to play the lead role in this movie. So that's pretty cool and I really think he hit it on the nail. Joseph Gordon-Levitt is one of my favorite actors, he does a flawless job in this film. Now Seth Rogen is awesome in this film. I used to really like Seth Rogen and after Knocked Up came out where he kind of blew up even more. I kind of got annoyed with him after a while because he kind of played the same weed smoking kind of moron, I guess, in everything. And yes, there's bits of that in this film as well, but Seth Rogen in this film is perfect. I think he is just amazing, and you can really believe that he cares for Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character. I think that he's not annoying, and yes, like I said, maybe there is some weed involved, but he's not as, I guess, annoying as he normally is. So that's a plus. It's a great movie. There's definitely parts of the movie that kind of, you know, can make you choke up a little bit. But that's what I love about it so much. It's the perfect amount of comedy and heart. It's a great movie. If you have not seen it, check it out. I give 50-50 a solid 10 out of 10. It's a great film. If you have seen it, please let me know down in the comment section below your little review. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And make sure to subscribe for all your weekly and daily updates whenever I know something. You know something. And as always, I'm Ryan McCurley. And I'll see you later. I freaking love this guy.